Hey guys, I'm Matthew Dady from Urban Patriot. Guys, today I'd like to share with you a training drill that we perform as part of our functional training program. We like this drill because it takes two important muscle groups that are activated and loaded during shooting and it, 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 it assists us with conditioning and training these to improve our performance downrange. Now, why do we want to? Why do we want to be training uh, training a drill a drill like this? The reason why we, why we want to be training the drill that we're about to show you, which is our from pillar to post drill, is because conditioning and improving your shoulders and abs during shooting is going to allow you to better problem solve all the dynamics of the handgun and assist you with getting those shots on target and being combat effective. Because essentially what's happening here is when you are running dynamic drills or you are extended for a long period of time, what happens is we start to experience lactic acid buildup and this provides us with a sensory overload. Our brain is trying to block out that pain as a result of fatiguing muscles. And so what we want to do here is we want to condition these muscles so that we don't experience this kind of lactic acid buildup. So we want, to, we want to perform a drill like this to be able to condition ourselves to, to increase our performance downrange. There are a few things that we just have to note before, before training, training like this. We want to ensure that consistency is, is correct both here and at the range because remember, we're going to be essentially performing many reps and we know that reps eventually translate into muscle memory. So we want to make sure that what we're training here is consistent with what's being trained on the range. We don't want to pick up bad habits here. So how this drill from pillar to post, how this drill is going to work, we're going to take, we're going to take a dumbbell. We usually uh, use a 10 kg dumbbell, but here we're going, to, we're going to demonstrate with a 6 kg dumbbell. We recommend you use a 6 kg uh, dumbbell, and we recommend that you train this drill for 30 seconds. We go for 45, but we've been doing this for a while now, so you, 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 want, to, you want to work at about 30 seconds. So what's going to happen here, we're going, to take, we're going to take the dumbbell, okay, and we're going to grip the dumbbell with our weapon hand, okay. Now, you're going to, be want, you, you're going to want to grip the dumbbell in a way that it, that, uh, to, to shed that load over, over, your, over your weapon hand and your reaction hand. You're going to want to do that because it's going to be, it's going to be fatiguing. But we don't want to do that because we want this to be realistic in the way we train at the range. And if you notice, when you train at the range, 65% of the load of the handgun is distributed over your weapon hand. So the, the rest of that weight will be trans, 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 uh, uh, transferred onto your reaction hand. And that's about 35%. So we don't want to, we don't want to grip the dumbbell like that because that's, that's, just, that's just unrealistic to what's actually happening. So we want to grip the dumbbell um, in, in a similar way to we uh, uh, in a similar fashion to, uh, to how we're going to grip the firearm. Okay. The second thing that we want to look at is we want to look at stance. We want to ensure that we are consistent again because we don't want to pick up any bad habits. Okay. So we want our stance to be right. We want our chest to be leaning slightly forward over over the belt buckle so as to be cognitive of recoil management. Okay. Then what we want to do is. We want to also make sure that we are looking over the top of the dumbbell. Because remember, we obviously don't have sights here because this is a dumbbell. But we want to make sure we're looking over the top of the dumbbell. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to fatigue and you're going to feel the dumbbell dropping down. But don't be, don't get into a habit of transitioning with this drill with the dumbbell low down. Otherwise, what's going to happen is you're going to start building up strength in your upper body with the dumbbell low down, and it's going to feel more natural on the range to do that. And we obviously don't want, the, don't want the weapon system to be lower down when you actually want it higher up when you're training on the range. So those are a few things that we just want to look out for. Um, I'm going to bring on uh, Richard Daly, who, who is also an instructor at Urban Patriot, and he's just going to show you how to run this drill for a few seconds. Uh, Richard, do you want to come take this? Thanks. Okay, so the first thing you just no notice, hit notice stance. Okay. He's, he's nicely transitioned, uh, 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 he's nicely leaned forward over, over his belt buckle. Okay, you'll just run that drill. So this is the from pillar to post. So he's simply transitioning from pillar to pillar. And you typically want to run this for 30 seconds, especially if you're a beginner. 
Right, thanks Rich. Thanks, that's great. Right, thanks again guys for watching and uh, guys don't forget, train for the 1%.